call from the pre-hospital trauma care provider that there was a 20 year old man, he was a construction worker. While working, he slipped and he fell off almost three stories. Right. When he fell off, his helmet came off and he fell on a metal scrap. Right. When the pre-hospital trauma care guy was received, they found him unconscious <laughs> and uh, there was a little bit of bruising <coughs> and uh, the signs and symptoms are his heart rate is 120, his BP is uh, 80 by 40 and uh, saturation is 89 percent and uh, the treatment given is that uh, they have given an oral airway, they have put a gaiters airway, they have restricted the cervical sp spine mobilization through a heart cervical collar. They immobilized him on a spine. The uh, left thigh was a little asymmetrical, so they put a traction splint as well. Right. And uh, they have taken one IV line and one IV fluid uh, is going. Right. So the patient is about to arrive uh, through an ambulance. The patient has already started. Maybe he will arrive at your emergency department in the next 5-10 minutes. Right. I just uh, inform you the findings. You want to repeat? Yeah. Okay. okay. So as we as you said, we have a 20 year old male who has fallen from a three story building. Yes. And his helmet came out as he fell down on a yes. hard surface. Okay. Uh, he is when he's seen by the emergency people, he was he's unconscious. unconscious. And uh, his BP is low, 90 by 60. Yeah. His pulse rate is 120. Yes. And uh, the emergency people have put a cervical collar, a, a, a heart cervical heart collar, collar always there. Uh, I think the spine board is there. Yes. They have also secured one IV, an RS4 IV line. They have started oxygen. They yes, they have started oxygen and five liters. So they have started oxygen also. They have put a oral airway. Yes. So uh, they put a traction splint on the left side. They have put a traction splint. Yeah. Right. And just yeah. prepare my opinion. Yes, please. You have about five minutes uh, before the patient arrives. So, good morning, Mr. and Dr. Sajjan Mishra. Uh, one patient is about to come. Uh, we have been just informed by the EMT people that a young patient has come who has fallen from a height mm -hmm. and is unconscious. His vitals are on the uh, side of a shock that he has got hypertension, BP is less, his pulse rate is high, mm -hmm. and he has got a asymmetry in the thigh and a thermal splint has been applied. Mm -hmm. IV line has been taken. But a uh, young patient fall from a height, so we should be prepared with most of the things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from the airway side, do we have proper oxygen masks? Yes. We have intubation set, we have LMA. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, do we have yes, a functional end of surgery? Functional end there? Okay, yes. great. From the building side, do we have an ICD tube? Yes, yes, check for the ICD tube. ICD. Yes, it is there. Preparation for the ICD is required. We have sarcophagal local mm -hmm. anesthesia. Is it ready? Yes, sir. Okay, check the monitors. If you have the monitors ready, yes, it requires SPO to monitor, it requires EPG leads. Yes. Then the saturation point, check for the whiteboard, uh, ID lines will have to take. Yes, he is also required to send the blood for sampling. Do we have cystic? Yes. Inform the blood bank. At the same time, inform x ray technician. We may require their help, so they should be on standby. Yes. They should be there. And uh, from the D point, uh, we should have a torch functional. Just check if the torch is functional. Yes. Uh, right, and I think it's very chilly, so please switch off the AC. Yes. And the seat to that whenever I open the patient examine, you have to cover it once I have examined the patient well. Mm -hmm. Cervical spine important in case I am opening the collar, see to it that you, need, you know how to stabilize cervical spine. Yes, sir, I know. Great, so most of things are ready with us. Yes. Uh, we are ready with us, sir. Right, so the patient is uh, just the right, he's getting off the ambulance and he is coming in. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> so this is the patient who has fallen off and he now he has come to <coughs> you and uh, we have just seen him. Hello, my Dr. Prasun, how are you? How are you? Is he responding, sir? He is just mumbling. Uh, just mumbling. Okay, so I need to check for the airway first. I can see a oxygen system correct the monitors first. Huh. Start the oxygen at 15 liter. I am putting the same mask here. Connect yes. on 15 liter. Yes. Uh, oxygen started in 15 liters. Right, sir. I can see some bleeding in the nose, so there might be facial trauma. Pulse ox connected. 
Right. How much is the SPO2 sir right now? SPO2 uh, it was 88 when you came. Now that you gel more oxygen, it's about 89.90. Okay. So still on the lower side. I need to take care of the airway in the oral cavity. Am I seeing any secretion of blood? There is a lot of bleeding that's happening in the oral cavity. Suction. 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 Fast. I need to suction the area. I am giving uh, jaw thrust and I am giving suctioning. With the suctioning, I can see blood secretion. And is the SPO2 improving after no, suctioning, sir? No. no. Because the airway is still there, he is tolerating, so I think he is almost in the advanced stage. Uh, sir, I would like to secure the airway first. So I would like to go for intubation. Yes. Sisters, keep things ready for intubation. Keep a proper blade and a metal plate, 7.5, 8-size tube to be ready. Keep both things ready. Now I will go bring cervical collar just around the right and stabilize the cervical spine and I am opening it. Sir, in the neck, I am seeing any bruise, any any dilatation of veins? No bruising, no dilatation. How is the trachea? Is the trachea is central. Trachea is central. Okay, just to stabilize the spine as I intubate the patient, don't let it move. Yes. I am taking a proper size blade in my left hand, taking the tongue from the right. And am I seeing the vocal cords? Or you are able to see the vocal cords. Okay, I am seeing the vocal cords. I have kept the tube ready. And I am passing a 7.5 size tube. Crossing the vocal cords and uh, the black line has gone through the vocal cords. Yes. And inside, I uh, sister put the cervical collar back. Sir, how about the chest movements? Are they equal? When you look, uh, they are both on uh, equal on both. Sir, give me shadow scope to auscultate. So I will auscultate and see if my tube is equal on both sides. Sir, how is the air entry at the point? Air entry is equal. On all the four junctions? On all the four points. Okay. Uh, you take a step? Yes, so how is the SPO2 now, sir? Now SPO2 is uh, 96%. Okay, so SPO2 has improved, so now airway and I have secured well. I need to look for the breathing part. I will come on the patient right. I will expose the patient. Sister, see to it that I expose. You should be covering it well. Yes, oh, sir. I am seeing a bruise on the chest, sir. Uh, is the chest movement equal on both sides? Chest movement is equal on both sides. Okay. Uh, and uh, give me also, again the shell scope. I just want to, I forgot the heart sound. I need to see the heart sound as well. How is the heart sound, sir? The heart sound is normal. And air entry, as you said, is equal on both sides. Air entry is equal on both sides. Great. So chest looks to be normal, sir. How is the blood pressure of the patient? The GP is now fallen to 70 by 35. Oh my god. But he is bleeding from somewhere, this, sir. We need to look for the bleeding point. Airway and breathing looks to be secured. Uh, how is the abdomen, sir? Any bulge, any, any confusion present? I... No, there are no telephone signs. The abdomen appears to be soft. Okay. And just giving a small pressure on the pelvis. Any rinse? Does the patient rinse with pain, no. sir? No. Is not dancing, so pelvic area has been checked. I will expose the leg of the patient. Just keep E fast ready. I might uh, need an E fast for the abdomen bleeding. Uh, oh, there is a bleeding. Is it actual bleeding, sir? Yes, right now bleeding, it's oozing. I need to give a pressure dressing on it. Give me a bandage also for the pressure dressing. Just give me fast. We need not waste any time. Yes, I'm giving a pressure dressing on the wound area. And yes, the bleeding seems to have stopped a little bit. Uh, how Only minor uh, changes are around, it's still losing. Okay, how much splint also I need to readjust. Uh, how the rosal is very special, am I able to feel it? You are able to feel the rosal. Okay, I'm just readjust. Yeah, in, uh, put two, uh, one IV9 already there, put one more white, okay, one IV9 on the other hand and start IV fluid fast. Yes, sir. I'm adjusting how much splint again and checking the rosal is very special, it is present, sir. Yeah. Okay, so now when you are adjusted, yes, so as you put IV line, take blood samples for EVG for, uh, and for hemogram as well. Okay. And call the blood bank, that was empty, we may need blood for cross matching as well. Sir, IV line started, I have controlled the bleeding, how much print adjusted, uh, how is the blood pressure now there? 100 by 60. Once you finish the second IV fluid. Yes, I can see improvement. I also need an E-fast sister. At the same time, I need a call for the X-ray chest and X-ray pelvis. Yes, just give a call. I am doing an E-fast sir. Where, where all are you looking for in e the Epigastrium first sir. Epigastrium. Any finding? Do I see any pericardial fluid? No. Uh, in the hepato renal junction, in the ventral pouch, any any fluid? No, you can see the image on that side. There is no no fluid. Right. Any the spino renal area, sir? No, there is no fluid. And in the bladder area, any fluid? No, there is no. No. So uh, there is no bleeding from the stomach. There is no bleeding in the chest as well. And uh, 
we have secured the seed. So now how the SQ20 was again, sir? It is SQ2 uh, staying at uh, 96%. Okay, and uh, uh, is that uh, pulse reduced? Pulse is better now? How the pulse? pulse uh, when, when he had come, it was around 140. Now it has stabilized to about 112. Okay. And blood pressure has improved, sir? Blood pressure has improved. You've given uh, 600 ml of blood has gone, or the uh, saline has gone, sir. In the leg, we have given. Yeah. The, so, uh, it was a warm ring lactate, just to yes, ensure it. Yes, we had kept a warm ring lactate. So, uh, how much BP again, sir? Uh, BP is now 110 by 70. Okay, so it's improving. I need to go for that D part. Sister, give me the torch. I need to see the pupils. Uh, pupils. How are the pupils? They are unequal. They are unequal. Okay, so sister, we are dealing with a head injury patient. I can see some blood at the ear part and the surface. So, yeah. There might be a surface fracture. We need to call for his head injury. We may have to refer the patient to just connect the call to the referring hospital. I'll talk to the doctor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is he dancing with pain, sir, and I'm giving pressure? He is able to. Is he localize the site of the. Is he, he localizing is, pain? He is flexing his uh, elbows. Is he opening his eyes, sir? He is opening his eyes through pressure. So, his uh, low GC scale, we have given the patient is different case of head injury. Uh, has the x ray chest comes in? Yes, the x-ray chest has come. Oh, so the x-ray is just... <laughs> the airway looks to be okay, breathing fine. Sir, sir, we have a vital mediastinum scene. So there might be a aortic dissection, aortic bleed might be there. That is why the pulse is not improving as much as I like. So he's a patient of head injury is there. Uh, and also with a mediastinal bleed is present, I will have to refer the patient to higher center because of the head injury and the bleed. He may require specialist attention. So, uh, and it's me, uh, you can the call to the... Oh, yes, the call for him. Yeah, so, so the neuro, neurosurgeon is available online. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Mishra, you've called. Good morning, yes. sir, I'm Dr. Prasun Mishra, I am just, I'm at the, the primary health center here. I've got a patient who fell from a height, and he, without a helmet, he had multiple injuries. His airway has secured, his breathing has been secured, the respiratory part. Uh, is now better with the IV line and he looks to be having a fever uh, and a lower uh, the neck fracture and uh, his x-ray is showing some relation injury also on my deep part I found that he has a head injury and he will require a neurosurgical intervention uh, should I do a CT scan or should I refer the patient to I don't know yeah. please refer the patient how will you refer the patient we have the ambulance backup sir and we have one medical officer on my day who will be accompanying the patient so he will, uh, the ambulance might be ready in next 10 minutes, so should I be preparing to refer the patient to you, sir? Do you think the patient will be stable and root till that time he comes to my center? Uh, sir, as of now, airway, breathing, circulation and part is much secured. I think for next half an hour, patient should be well taken care of and the medical officer is trained enough and he will be taking care further. But he is stable enough. So we have uh, some time the ambulance comes uh, and just go for the... Uh, Take care. Please, sir, any chance? Any chance? No. I think so, okay. so please send the patient to the neurosurgical center. Sure. Yeah. I'll look yes. forward to it in the next half an hour. Yeah, so we have 10 minutes. We will just put the ice tube and the catheter. Okay. Ice tube I'll put from the mouth because no there's a bleed and the catheter to check for the how much blood loss or the hypovolemia can be checked. So I have catheterized the patient, I put an ice tube and the ice tube has some contents and bleeding in the ice tube? No. no okay, okay, some gastric content. Fine. So uh, I am ready to transfer the patient, sir. Uh, uh, should I continue with secondary survey? Yeah. Uh, we have some time till the ambulance comes. I'll start with the driver is just coming, you just have about uh, five more minutes. Okay, so I see the uh, secondary surface shirt and expose the entire body and gradually come, you have to cover it up. Uh, I can see a bruise at the ear side, again that's the head injury part. Neck we already checked. I will need to log roll the patient and see the spine, sir. I have some assistant here. Uh, you have one more person who is your uh, housekeeper. Okay, uh, so he comes and he is helping you see and you are able to log roll. Okay, so I log roll any spinal injury you are able to see. Any rectal injury I am able to see? No rectal injury. Okay, any cranial blood uh, bleeding on the And I expose the cranial parts? No. So, uh, chest, abdomen I have seen. It, uh, chest, blue I have noted. Abdomen is fine. There is no major injuries. Patient gets it right. The bleeding is absolutely fine. Okay, sir. So, this time we will transfer the patient. I will be going till the next minute of the comes and shifting the patient to the next end. Right. Thank you so much.